Number one thing is that cash flow is very important. And one of the things that determines cash flow is positioning. 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 Say, for example, now there is a stream. The stain around the stream. The stream flows in the direction of current. Let me tell you something. If you wanted to catch a fish, you will not put the fish in the opposite direction. You would mostly put the, the net in the direction of the flowing current. I'm telling you. Because naturally, the fishes, they glide with those ocean waves. So at least for you to be able to catch something, that is the foundation. So positioning is very important. Number one in terms of positioning is that you ask the question of who, you ask the question of where, you ask the question of why, you ask the question of what, and you ask the question of how. Those things allow you to have stronger market positioning. So like I said, you have to ask the question of who. Number one is really, really who are you attracting? Who are you trying to speak to? Who are you trying to communicate to? Who are you trying to communicate value to? That's the foundation. It's, it's really simple. Who are you trying to communicate value to? And if you don't understand that, I'm going to be putting you through some um, customer personnel and um, customer analysis, customer insight, and all those kind of things. So we're going to be looking at that. The foundation is that a lot of us are very generic. A lot of us are very, very generic. A lot of us are very generic. So before you are able to attract somebody, you also have to have the, you also have to answer the question of clarity, clarity, clarity of who you are and who you want to attract. You have to define it for yourself first, and then you have to define it for your audience. Now, it's going to be very, very simple at this point. Okay? It's going to be very simple. The idea is to identify the market gap. There is a gap in the market as it is right now. There are people that are on the shelf. There are people that are complaining right now that you're aware of in the market, in your niche, in your area of passion. Now, that's it. You identify the gap in the market and you also identify what that because for every gap in the market, there's always a market in that gap. That's there are people in that gap that are to serve. So identify that void. Some people call it institutional void. What is that aspect that your organization isn't focusing on, that your audience or people are complaining about? Now, I'm not talking about, sometimes, maybe I want to talk about a little bit of product crafting, but let me say something. In foundation, when you're starting a business, or when you could start a business from a pain point, okay, you had passed through this and you figured out a way out of it, and you realize that there are a lot of people who could benefit from that. That could be a business. A lot of people have done that. For example, if you follow this guy, uh, Jim Quick, the um, uh, founder of um, Quick Brain Podcast, you realize that he had he suffered what we call learning challenges, learning challenges. And from that point, as he was able to overcome it, that became a business for him. Business in the sense that there were people that needed to help in some of the things and you could hear a lot of testimonials a lot of um people coming in and saying my child suffered from learning challenges but listening to you he's began to learn a lot of and he is also help people in terms of that mastery to even help um celebrities and um actors and actresses to be able to memorize script easily he's also helped people to Present new books just to digest information because he could he learns very fast to present. They call him for presentation and he's able to present maybe a new book, give a summary, give a speech, stuff like that on the go. That's how good it is. That was his challenge, and he came into that space. So the foundation is really, 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 really in that regard. In really, really in that regard. All right, so the thing that we're going to be focusing on is more about that. So I'm not really going to be talking about uh, how to come from skills to cash or anything like getting your passion, really crafting all those kind of things. But I'm going to just show you a tweak in the market, how you can transition. Because I, I want to say that 
if you don't understand this foundation to be hard for you i said position is very very essential uh like i said like the woman that asked me said at what point did you redefine i just realized that even for most businesses there's that point that they need to reinvent their company to be able to get what they are looking for that's just it and the customer determines the market it's all the same and the principle is that to be able to scale you need to understand how to serve not just one-to-one -one, but one-to-many they have your mystery that's just it you're saving one to many the more people you can serve you know this guy this guy says on the zigzag line he said you can have what you want if you have just about enough other people just online just about enough as more people you serve that's just it but you need to find the gap now there are concepts to find the gap the reason why you find the gap is because um if you don't find the gap in the market you will be going on competition like head to head the people who are doing the same thing that you're doing like for example now you now come into a space of maybe soda and you're saying okay i want to produce already already you're producing soda like coca-cola you have pepsi and coca-cola to compete with are you getting me so the foundation is for you to always find the gap which aspect and then you can position yourself it doesn't have to i say that it doesn't have to be sexy it doesn't have to be trendy but you need to identify that gap and serve them i was called for a branding job project recently and they were asking me okay so how do you tend to brand i was like that's the war branding is not in the aesthetics first i need to find the gap what are people's pain points and challenges there is always that there is always that there is a very strong thing in positioning positioning is very essential positioning is too 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 essential in regards to what you do and um like i said you have to identify the gap what maybe uh, coca-cola is not fulfilling properly maybe there is some, maybe maybe you can even somehow you can even review soda yes because people are not sure of which soda to drink or maybe which nutritional this you can even do reviews reviews i'm telling you and this one i learned from said goody he said that by the time you start you would be shocked that people will pay you to even rank on that site the problem you see is the problem you solve if you don't see those problems you don't see those needs it's not a pain point it's not a challenge you've not overcome it you, you don't you don't see the need it doesn't trigger it's not a passion you don't have interest as i said that the first thing is for you to stay in an area that you have interest for you don't have there is money in taking care of dead bodies like in the mortuary or in the morgue there is money there but it's not a passion for you you don't have issues or in medicals why are you going there people don't like that for example people that do funeral funeral services provide caskets i mean it's something like that there is money in all these things there's money in everything so i was talking to one of her friends he came around and i was saying there's money in printing i said does manzuga like do printing does he, he does printing in his business facebook they printing press don't sound that way and that's a myopic brain you can sell peanut and you're still very successful so what makes your peanut successful the business in the business some people have the skill but you don't have the business i've seen people they do amazing peanuts huh you taste your peanut you taste your burger oh you're gonna lick your hands but why have they not been able to hit the six figure mark why have they not been able to hit the seven figure mark this my friend is it the model so like i said if you ask yourself the right kind of questions you would find the right answer so what i'm trying to tell you is to generate series of questions to generate series of questions and as you begin to feel answers you begin to have a comprehensive list of what to tweak what to adjust and then get into your goal so we're going to be looking at how you have to position yourself i just talked about that not to be generic we talk about the idea of um understanding who you are and who you are trying to target and then when you understand who you are and who you're trying to target if you marry the two of who you are that is your your skill set your passion your product whatever you think that you have of value and you go into intermarry with um the generic customers that's the customers people that can be served by this if you marry those two there is always there is still another inside gap that inside gap that is there is going to be your usp that is your unique selling proposition in which you're going to anchor on to scale now the idea is that 
in that level you're going to come into what we call product crafting at this time you have interest you know that definitely there might be people for example um say in sports right now okay say in sports right now i don't know why sports is a clean um example for me to use but say in sports right now you have passion for sports okay so many people are good in live commenting live commenting like Peter Drew, okay and so many people are good in maybe forecasting you get it so the idea is that sports but there is what you have interest in okay you can focus at that level is still the audience that you're serving are those people who are interested in sports but your strength is what forecasting you now see how you can come over to the sports unit all right but then you might if you see the diagram that i'm drawing you'll be able to so it's identifying it's still about identifying the gap but in identifying that gap sometimes you might say okay this is the gap that you're serving but the foundation is in the product crafting product crafting so you're going to come into retweaking your product and how it works and then at the end of it you are going to come to other things that we'll be looking at so it's about finding the right market and understanding what influences buyers decisions what influences buyers decisions and then you'll be able to adjust that so i said that market determines everything and that's it so number one is when you are trying to identify who you are that you need to understand um number one you say who you are so you can put your brand name and what you do market service that you offer you now talk about why you do what you do why for the purpose of that's it so with these now you've been able to define your business in a simple sense some people talk about the vision or the mission or whatever but this is just define your business just by the basic word go you define it you just keep it simple stupid that's it and then who your audience are you can talk about who your audience are so this is you the next one is your audience so from the standpoint of who your audience are you see my audience or my customers my customers are you can see if it's mothers you say mothers mothers uh, you put the demographics the, the age of 15 to 16 interested in you put the solution that you offer okay you put the solution that you offer and then you now marry with the purpose the why now it is because of this your purpose synchronizing with the purpose of your customer that's what brings the two of you together like for example if you don't have the same kind of interest you don't have the same belief that is the idea is believe what you believe you don't have the same belief you don't have the same um nothing it tricks you it's really really hard so that is really the foundation the foundation is to redefine your business redefine what you do in a way in, in the eye of the market we define what you do in a way that your customers understand the value that you offer. You understand who you are, what you do, why you do what you do, and it also resonates with them and in that light. Now, the second aspect that we might look at, although this is a, this is supposed to be a summary, but the second aspect that we might look at is going to be in persona. It's going to be in persona. Um, um creating and setting up your own customer persona but i'm telling you that with just this you have been able to set up your own customer persona the only thing that you just add is to add where you will find them that's where you find them we talked about location because that is where you would be able to get them for example in location context i usually say that if you want to catch a fish you can go to the stream but if you want to catch a whale you need to go to the ocean you need to understand now going to the ocean is one but going to the ocean will now determine the tools you need the equipment you need and even the team that you need so you need to understand but if you want to just practice okay fishing you also need to specialize what kind of fishing goldfish that will identify even the kind of bait what what intrigues their psychology all right so that's it even when you read jordan belfort he saw that there was one challenge which was um these guys they are on point in terms of psychology so he had to find a way of having to communicate with them in a way that it is almost seemingly that he is their friend 
That's just one way he cracked it. He was playing with that's what we call psychology. And so if you have these three contexts, number one, understanding we talked about number one is cash flow. Understanding that cash flow is really important for your business because you're not always going to have that energy every time your business needs to take care of you. So and in cash flow, cash flow is possible through what positioning, what we talked about. So some of you can grow, can scale because you don't even have, you don't, you're not even sure of the consistent flow of money that can say, okay, at the end of managing this aspect right now, I can now outsource. I can now outsource this aspect, maybe your 20% of what's not impacting, maybe you're checking your email, I can now, you're not even sure of those kind of cash. Okay, so you can't even bring in teams, you can't set up teams in a way that, okay, okay, I'm sure that at the end of this year, I'm supposed to set up eight teams, and it shouldn't be hard. You no, know, one chase a thousand, but two chase. 10,000. So that has just how this stuff is. So cash flow to positioning. Positioning is really, really, really very essential. So if you want cash flow, you need to position effectively and you position for understanding who you are and you understanding um, who you are, what are you doing, why you do what you, you're doing, where are your customers and when do you reach out to them and how do you reach out to them? So that's just the summary of maybe maybe in, in a block summary. But then if you want to take it step by step, you position to it for effective position, you need to define who you are. And we did that, which is the foundation. And then you need to define who your customers are. If you marry those two in terms of the why, that's the purpose, the belief system you have an effective audience that you can reach out to. So the second stage of this stuff would be the product crafting where you talk about their needs, their wants, their pain points, and their challenges. The needs, their wants, the pain points, and their challenges. The needs, their wants, the pain points, and their challenges. So with those basic things, you can be able to have what it is. Because when you identify the needs, the wants, the pain points, challenges, can be able to com communicate with them on those media channels. It talks about where and when. And then the how talks about the forms that your messaging will take and then you'll be able to reach out with them. So just looking into these two, these things are deep. It's not something that we can finish in one piece of learning. It's not something that we can finish in one piece of learning, but they are the foundation. Each of them, they are very deep. That's why we call them bootcamp. And I'm just going to be sending out materials. I'm just going to be sending out materials so that by the time you feel this, you can submit it back to me. I'm going to be reviewing it and I'll be um, getting into the practical session of these things. And as we learn together, as we understand these things together, we'll be able to achieve better success because most of these things, they are really good practical. So until then, until next time, see you in the next month. Good luck.